Are you an aspiring photographer or videographer who wants to fast track to being a passionate, capable amateur or a budding professional? Do you get frustrated with all the buttons and menu settings on your camera gear? Would you really like to know how to set up your gear to create the images you have in your mind's eye instead of hoping that the camera will do the thinking for you? My name is Dave Estment and I've spent 40 years learning and honing my craft from rank amateur all the way through to owning my own photographic and video business which is celebrating its 20th anniversary today. We have decided that it's a great time to start sharing my experience and knowledge with you and all aspiring photographers and videographers around the world. Trust me, the bullshit stops when the green flag drops. I am a straight talker and I have been lucky enough to have had a very exciting and varied life which has resulted in me and my wife Naomi being able to run a successful video and photographic production business for the last 20 years. My life has included studying mechanical engineering and tool making, racing superbikes and Grand Prix bikes professionally for nine years and having been privileged to represent my country in international and world championship races during that time. At which point I was obviously on the other side of the camera, being photographed and filmed by the top photographers and motorsport filmmakers during my exploits. Because I had always been an aspiring photographer and they picked up on my passion, I soon started being asked by them to assist in doing shoots on the condition that I listened carefully and learnt the techniques, paid attention to detail and focused on freeing up my creative mind to develop my own style under their supervision and open constructive criticism, which was harsh to say the least. But their strict and honest mentoring eventually resulted in my becoming super critical of my own work in a positive way. This led to me being formally accredited and covering a number of world championship races around the world, including Formula One at Silverstone, where Michael Schumacher crashed right in front of me, breaking his legs in the process, which I was able to capture. I also covered a number of MotoGP and World Superbike World Championship races, getting to regularly meet world champions like Valentino Rossi and Colin Edwards, two of my idols amongst others. The other passion my wife Naomi and I have is wildlife videography and photography. We've been privileged to have visited Botswana on more than 25 occasions to capture the magic of the Kalahari Desert and the world-renowned Okavango Swamps as well as me visiting the Masai Mara in Kenya for probably the most incredible wildlife trip of my life. I don't think Naomi has forgiven me yet, so the Masai Mara is still on our bucket list. Sorry, Gnomes. This was actually the reason we got involved in the video side of things, because in the beginning we documented all of our photographic trips on video, which eventually became equally important as our wildlife photography with our work having been published in a number of wildlife books, calendars, TV shows, and it also resulted in dedicating three years of our lives from 2011 to 2013 in helping to save our rhinos from extinction in South Africa. A story all on its own, and one I will share with you as we get to know each other. What I had to learn was that there was no room for compromise if you were to earn the respect of your fellow photographers and videographers. Making excuses and trying to justify small errors in areas like focus, depth of field, exposure, composition, creativity and probably most importantly understanding the technical minefield of which set of parameters to use on your camera to create the image you're after. My good friend and mentor many years ago, Colin Watling, who sadly died in an accident, used to be well known for his apt description of what we do as painting with light. I love that analogy, which my mind translated as giving all of us the ability to either paint beautifully using the tools, technical interpretation and creativity we were given, or to accept whatever outcome most modern cameras are able to generate for the camera operator who has no idea of which algorithm I call idiot mode has used to occasionally create amazing results, most times not. I'm often reminded that we will never know everything that there is to know about any subject, 
But if we dedicate ourselves to learning as much as we can about whatever subject we choose, the greater the sense of achievement when you're able to create the exact result you're after, having considered all the permutations available to you. The other very important thing to be aware of is to make allowance for the limitations the camera has. What I found really interesting was the realization of how incredibly astute the human and some animals' eyes and brains are at being able to adjust to almost any lighting conditions they may be faced with. The camera, as expensive and high-tech as it may be, does not come close to the incredible latitude the human and even more so some raptors and other animals that rely on their sight for survival have. So what do we do about that? Would it not be a huge win to be able to avoid overexposed areas in our images or being able to zoom in to incredible detail like an eagle seeing its prey from long distances whilst all the time achieving perfect focus and all of the parameters I've mentioned above plus a whole bunch more. What I'm doing is putting together a whole series of tutorials, each addressing a different element to assist you to become a much better photographer or videographer, and for the few who really apply themselves, starting your own photographic and video business, earning the respect and praise from everyone around you from the incredible work you create. I hope to inspire and encourage you by giving away little gems of knowledge about technique, technical challenges and shortcuts as time moves on. But they say it is not clever to give everything away because the recipient does not appreciate and utilize the product as they may if they were investing in the product or service. So I'm not going to give my courses away, but I will make them affordable and extremely good value for my students and clients. Please join me on my blog and YouTube channel and I welcome any positive, constructive comments or inputs. I sincerely hope that this content becomes your go-to source of inspiration and information in our exciting world of video and photography.